This place is absolutely incredible. Like there's no possible way that this video is going to be able to do it justice. I had seen no. pictures, I had seen videos, and I thought I was prepared for what we were about to experience. We are so sad to be leaving Suneva Fushi today. I feel like this island was built just for me but there's only one thing left before all of my Maldivian dreams come true, and that is an overwater bungalow. I apologize in advance for my extreme overjoy the next few days. Going through such a roller coaster of emotions right now. I don't want to leave this island, but I can't wait to go to the next one. We have an hour speedboat ride to send you the yacht. Thank you so much. Not a bad spot for our ride. This place is absolutely incredible. Like there's no possible way that this video is going to be able to do it justice. I had seen no. pictures, I had seen videos, and I thought I was prepared for what we were about to experience. Not, nothing could have prepared me for this. Not even in my wildest dreams. I've always wanted to stay in an overwater bungalow. <laughs> this is not an overwater bungalow. This is an overwater mansion, and I have no clue how we're gonna like do this place justice. It is so beautiful. I need to cry. I don't know where to start. I can't believe we're here. I guess we'll start with the outside. This huge, beautiful deck with a pool that's big enough to swim laps in to exercise. Multiple loungers and a ladder that goes down into the ocean. The water is so blue and pretty. Okay, now let's go inside. See through floors. That's the ocean. Even when you're eating, there are see through floors. What? There's more. Don't worry. And the see through floor in the bathroom. Speaking of the bathroom, this is it. You can walk straight from the ocean into the tub. And there's another marshmallow couch. I need this in my house. This is the gorgeous bedroom. Let me just move this cake that they made us for winning the Shorty Award. And there's a TV in the trunk with 700 movies. Let's go to the kitchen. Not bad, huh? Going upstairs. Our very own little tree house where we can watch the sunrise and the sunset. Or maybe it's the sunrise and sunset. I'm not sure. I probably won't see the sunrise. <laughs> they brought our bags and put them in the room, and this place is so big that we legitimately do not know where our bags are right now. We can't find our bags. <laughs> Here, bags. Seriously, do you know where they are? I think they're in like the bathroom room. Like not where the toilet is, but the room that the bathroom is connected to. Okay, they're not in the bathroom. I saw them like up on a cabinet. I don't even know what's in here. What? Look, there's a whole other room we didn't even know about. <gasps> oh, there they are, through the window. <laughs> How do you get in Ah, <laughs> oh, there they are. So we saved the best feature of the house for last, and I think the best way to show it to you is with the drone. This could be a terrible idea. There it goes! There it goes!
So as much as we hate to pull ourselves away from our villa, they have set a picnic lunch for us up on a private beach. It's basically like we're on our honeymoon again. Actually, this is way, way better than our honeymoon. Honestly, having trouble coming up with words to describe what we're experiencing right now. I think the best way I could put it is I feel like we're like living in the advertisements of magazines. Like we're living in a photoshopped world. Everything around us just looks fake. Yeah. And we know that this is such a once in a lifetime opportunity that we are just taking every second in and She's just trying to, soak trying it all to make in, it last as long it. as possible. <laughs> I don't even want to go to sleep tonight. No, I'm going to stay up for 24 hours for sure. I'm not going to sleep in that villa. Okay, I'm going to go sleep. So there's one thing that I've been wanting to do ever since we got here. The tide was too low earlier. It could have been a little dangerous, but now it's up and I can finally go down our private slide. <laughs> So just like at Suniva Fushi, the local mode of transportation here is bikes, except it's a little scarier. <laughs> if you fall off, you go straight in the water. But rails would just like really kill the vibe at this place. So as if this day couldn't get any more ridiculous, they had brought us this huge spread of snacks and drinks so that we could watch the sunset from our villa. I think the one word that sums this place up better than any other is over the top. And I don't know that there's anything that embodies that more than this plate of 50 blue macaroons for two people. How are we supposed to eat all of these? Cheers. Cheers. I'm not going to walk backwards while I'm talking because I'm currently standing on a big wooden block in the middle of the ocean. All of these lead up to our restaurant for tonight and they've set up a giant movie screen in the middle of the water. We're having dinner in a movie. This is a Peruvian restaurant, so of course we got ceviche. Mm. So good. Movie's about to start. They gave us these cool headphones. Blankets? This is so cozy. It's very loud. Am I yelling? Am I yelling? Yes, yeah, big job. It's really loud. These are like noise canceling. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not gonna work. We can do it. We can do it. No. No, we're doing it. No, Nate. <laughs> It doesn't have its like GPS signal because we're inside. So it's gonna fall and break. So it just kind of like doesn't stay in the same spot like it normally does. Here we go, here we go. Get out! Leave! Just bring it down. You can do it, yeah. Alright. Let's get away. Let's get away. There it goes! There it goes! It has GPS now, too. It got outside and it has GPS. Wow! This looks incredible! <laughs> I'm glad you didn't listen to me and you did it anyways. There's a crab in my bathroom. Okay! Carrot! Go down the slide! Ow! Ow, it's not, uh, it's not wet. I think I'm gonna go wipe it to make sure it's wet. Oh. Woo! Slow down, Nate, be safe. <laughs> All right, for real this Good time. Good job. called the napping room. Just sitting here for a quick nap. I will not be napping. <laughs> I might not even be sleeping. 